Hello everyone and welcome to another Friday new product post here at SparkFun Electronics. We've got a bunch of bright new stuff for you, so let's see what we've got. First up, we've got a new, slightly modified version of the SIK for this week. The SIK is our SparkFun Inventors Kit for Arduino. It includes a breadboard and a bunch of other components, and this lovely little manual that runs you through all these different circuits and examples to get you started programming with Arduino and understanding how it all works and the hardware integration side of it as well. The new version includes a screwdriver for attaching the breadboard down to the base plate, and we've switched to a white breadboard instead of the red one, so it's a little bit easier to see the holes. If you want to learn more about the SIK, check out the link at the end of this video where we run through everything you've ever wanted to know about the new SIK. Next up, we've got a new line of electroluminescent panels. These panels come from Elastolite, and they're actually flexible and can be sewn into clothing. So if we look at these different panels, they're actually on these thin sheets, and they're fully flexible. We can bend them and stretch them. And if you see here, we've got these little tabs on them, and that is how you connect all the wiring to them. So instead of just having cables and things like that, you actually use these little um, iron-on connectors, these junctions, and all these other things to get it working. So the Elastolite family consists of 10 different panels. We've got the 3 by 5 inch size in a blue, a white, a blue-green, a green, and an orange. And then we have the same colors in these smaller 2 by 2 panels. All of these panels are driven by two different inverters, and on the back of these inverters you will see two different colors. We've got a green and we've got a red, and one is the INV133 and one is the INV135. Now the difference between these is how much square surface area they can illuminate. So the smaller inverter, the 135, can actually only handle 8 square inches. So if you had a 2x2 two two panel and another 2x2 two two panel, that is a 4x2 or 8 square inch panel. So that can drive that. And if you have something bigger than that, check out the INV133. The inverters also have color-coded connectors. And each of these connectors is mated with the specific inverter and allows you to drive the various panels. Each of the panels have two connectors, one that goes in, one that goes out, or vice versa, so you can daisy chain multiple panels together with the various cables and connectors. The inverters are actually rechargeable. They have a um, lithium ion battery inside, and they are charged just with a standard USB port. Um, we've got the inverter, we've got the cable, and then we have one of these iron-on connectors, the transition to the cable, and at the very end, we have it attached to the actual panel. And so if we just hit the button, lights up like a standard EL panel. But it is fully flexible, you can crinkle it, and do all sorts of cool stuff with it. Next up, we've got a new motor controller from Dagu. This is the T-Rex motor controller. This actually replaces the Wild Thumper motor controller, and this guy's pretty versatile and really good for driving bigger robots. At the heart of it, it does have an Atmega 328, so you can program this with Arduino. It does come with um, some example code that's already on it that's actually pretty good. It has this auto-detect feature that as soon as you plug it in, turn it on, it detects to see if there's like an RC module, you know, like what you would use for like an RC remote control um, plane or car or something like that. Um, it'll detect if there's a module there. If there isn't, it will then default to a Bluetooth module. And if it doesn't see the Bluetooth module, it will default to an I2C interface. So you can control it in any of the three interfaces. And of course, you can change this example code to do whatever you want it to do. But by default, it is set up to use either of those three communication types. Um, so of course it does have Bluetooth um, option right here. It has a nice little FTDI header. The other nice thing about this one that the last one didn't have is this one actually has a three-axis accelerometer. So you can do all sorts of things with bump detection or you know, determine speed, things like that. And as with the previous generation of this, it actually has servo headers on it, so you can connect servos directly to it for all your you know, arms and pivots and sensors and stuff like that. Um, this one actually has six servo headers, so you can connect up to six servos directly to the board. And as far as a motor controller goes, this can actually drive two different motors. It can handle six to 30 volts, and it can actually provide up to 30 amps worth of current. Um, so that's stall current. The average current that it can provide is about 18 amps. 
and if you do want to do a higher amperage motor on these, um, you're going to want to add a heat sink onto the back. They do have these four mounting holes. It does come with hardware in the box, so you would want to put this onto a plate or some sort of heat sink if you're going up that high. The new T-Rex controller from Dagu is a drop-in replacement for the original Wild Thumper controller. So it's made to work with the six-wheel uh, off-road Wild Thumper chassis. I've decided to go ahead and drop it in here so that I can give you a demonstration of how it works. But first I had to alter the code that came with it just a little bit. It was designed to work with a particular Bluetooth module that we don't carry at SparkFun, so I've altered it to work with the Bluetooth Mate Gold. Only a few lines of code had to be changed, and I took out some of the error correction, but it seems to work pretty well. The cool thing about this is that they've actually released an Android app that goes along with the controller. So if you have a Bluetooth Mate hooked up to your T-Rex controller, and you have the app loaded on your Android compatible device, then you can actually use your phone or your tablet to control the T-Rex controller. 